What is a message that burns upon your heart for people today? It's a question difficult, and at the same time, it's easy, right? Say that he's. It's a very hard question, but at the same time, very easy to answer. Good, I guess. Que bom, yeah. é, é fácil porque no sentido de você uh, ver o que o que a situação que a gente vive presente, pelo menos nosso país, né? E e você olhar para a escritura e ver o que ela tem a dizer, né? So that it's easy uh, to to look at what what is happening uh, to us in our days, especially in Brazil, and and it's clearly uh, it's a lot of the things that are going on there. It's clearly going on as well in the Bible, and you can see how it can match uh, what's happening with what happened in the message of the Bible. Uh, até lembro de um episódio uh, recente. É, a, a política do nosso país está meio conturbada e eu é, geralmente eu prego expositivamente. Usually he preaches through a book and then after this through another book expository and and our politics is pretty much uh, messed up in our country right now. E aí nesse dia eu disse que eu iria não seguir a, essa sequência e queria falar sobre política. On this specific day in the, in the worship service, I said I would not continue the exposition, but I would talk about politics. <laughs> e aí eu expus o Salmo 73. So I, I preach on Psalm 73. Então nesse aspecto é simples, é fácil. Yeah, so uh, it's easy in that way to, to see uh, what is the, uh, the message for our generation. Uh, at least in in my in my country. Senhor Deus, queremos te agradecer por esse momento, pedir a tua graça, a tua misericórdia, Senhor, sobre sobre nós, teu povo, sobre a tua igreja e esse momento que ele esteja dirigindo, Senhor Deus, aquilo que vamos falar, Senhor Deus, e que todas as coisas que sejam feitas aqui, Senhor Deus, glorifiquem e honrem o teu nome. É o que nós pedimos. Em nome de Jesus. Amém. Hello and welcome to another episode here on the Pilgrim's Well. Pastor Orebe is a Presbyterian pastor in Brazil since 2001. He is uh, married to his wife since 1989. They have four children and ten grandchildren. Well, there we could start in many times, uh, in many places, but first of all, I want to give you a most warm welcome uh, to America and to uh, this, this time here as well. And we hope that this will be a great blessing for you and for us as we have this conversation today.